there are over 25 million reported potholes on the South African roads. Now, if my maths is correct, and we've done a lot of data research on this topic, there's 168,000 kilometers of paved road on the South African network. That's roughly 148 potholes per kilometer. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that, 148 potholes per kilometer on the South African roads. With a thousand potholes being reported in the Johannesburg area each and every week. Now, it is the government's responsibility to maintain and upgrade our roads. However, like in many departments, currently they are failing. So in my opinion, entrepreneurship and businesses are the solution to each and every problem on this planet. So if enough businesses apply their minds and apply their resources and their networks, anything can be fixed. So here's a point of view that we want to present to our viewers and potentially the country on how are we going to approach the authorities to get the permission required because it's illegal to fix potholes in your personal capacity. How are we going to get the proper authorization and get these potholes fixed? We're going to challenge businesses out there, not an ice bucket challenge. I fix 10, I challenge you to fix 10. Or I fix 3, I challenge you as my competitor to fix 3 and you challenge the next guy. That's the idea we had in the Masterclass team and I'm going to present a step-by-step -step on how we feel we can execute it and potentially fix South Africa's pothole problem. Let's get into the topic. Right, so according to Sandral, it costs between 700 and 1,500 Rand to fix a single pothole, okay, depending on its size. So the bigger ones, 1,500 Rand, the smaller potholes, 700 Rand, but that's the range. I said in the intro that 1,000 potholes are reported each and every week. How many are not reported in the B and C roads, but 1,000 are reported in the Johannesburg area? And the city claims that they fix four and a half thousand potholes per month. So Cape Town spends 110 million rand repairing 250 potholes per week. So that's the spend annually. South Africa is the 24th on the list of the highest accounts of accidents. Okay, so the most accidents happen in a country. We are on that list as number 24th. And provincially, this is where we rank. Number one is Gauteng. Number two, KwaZulu-Natal, and the Eastern Cape is number three. But the worst roads in terms of potholes in South Africa in Peter Maritzburg. So that's the worst roads of a single city. Okay, the concern is, are potholes contributing to that accident figure every year, or are they not? In my opinion, they absolutely are. Many a times do you have to swerve out, even if you drive the same road every day, after heavy rain, I pick up five to ten new potholes and I drive the same road every day. So do they contribute to that? In my opinion, hand on heart, absolutely yes. So having said that, entrepreneurs and businesses are the solution to almost each and every problem on the planet. In fact, every problem on the planet. How can we take this into our own hands and move forward? Because I'm going to share an experience that happened to us. And I'm sure most of you will be able to relate. So we've got the dealerships in Pretoria and around the locations of our dealerships. So this is around the roads that are surrounding our dealerships. After heavy rains that we experienced in Pretoria North, the roads deteriorated to a state where it was, it was actually unsafe to drive. Four and a half months after reporting it, we had no feedback. Eventually, what we did is we hired a contractor that builds roads to fix the roads around our dealerships. It wasn't even potholes. It was looking horrific. Okay. However, there's still potholes in the main road, you know, crossing the dealerships where thousands of cars pass every day. Now I'm sitting in a situation where that's okay. I've identified 10. Okay. 700 Rand by 10. 7,000 Rand. We are willing as a company to invest that money in the infrastructure. However, we're not allowed to. It's illegal for us to fix it. So what is the solution? 
and how can we bring forward this challenge there's an email address that i'm going to share with you guys on the on the screen right now potholes at swanet.gov what we're going to do it's the 8th today so it's saturday the 8th we are going to send a mail documenting the request that we repair the potholes at our expense and give you feedback in exactly 10 days have they requested a photograph or extra information? Have they requested a quotation? Or have they requested, you know, where are you going to repair it from? Or are they going to give us a list of people that we can approach and fix the roads with? Once we get the feedback, we're going to go and actively look for somebody to put next to me in the studio and say, here we go. We don't want to do a bucket challenge, throw ice over your head and whatever the case might be. I want to, as an entrepreneur, challenge my competitors and the people in the surrounding area and say, I fix four, you fix four. Do you accept the challenge? Publicly challenge them. If they say no, no problem, I'll challenge the next one. If they say yes, then they get to challenge the next business and the next business. And hopefully we can start a movement because even though things are tight and interest rates are up and expenses are up, everything is up unless we take care of our infrastructure. So most companies will be able to say, no problem, I'll fix this month, I will fix three potholes. It will cost me 2,100 Rand. Most companies that have staff members will be able to afford that. Therefore, with enough pressure on ourselves, we can take care of the roads, at least in the city for now, and then expand it to a greater movement and a safer road to all South Africans. You know. Being so high up in the accident um, report globally is not somewhere we want to be. We want to be very, very low. I mean, we've got kids, we've got family members, we've got millions of road users, whether it's public transport or whether it's with your own vehicle. At least the road needs to be safe. That drastically minimizes the potential of an accident. These are our next moves and we'll give you feedback on the progress. We're going to send the mails identifying the potholes and exactly where they are and our intention to fix them. Then we're going to make sure that we contact somebody until somebody says to us, yes, I'm willing to talk to you, whether it's on or off camera. This is the right process so that when we challenge the next business, we're not challenging somebody to take part in an illegal activity. It needs to be above board and it needs to be done with contractors that are okay to do the work. I hope this movement appeals to you. If it does, please leave us a comment as well as hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.